I admit, I bought the game Station to Station fully anticipating being mildly impressed at best and returning it before my refund period expired. Well, I was wrong. This game is so much more than a cozy puzzle game. It's about transforming and connecting beautiful landscapes and watching them burst to life while being entranced by an uplifting soundtrack infused with the rhythm of a chugging steam engine, powering through the open grasslands, determined to supply the people with essential goods. But it also conjures a feeling of nostalgia, at least for me, and is reminiscent of the train layouts my grandpa used to craft, as well as the immense love my children used to have for anything related to trains. Suffice it to say, I would keep Station to Station in my Steam library even if its gameplay was mediocre. But this isn't the case. So hop aboard and let's take a closer look at some Station to Station gameplay and how it performs on Steam Deck. Station to Station has six different locations and multiple levels to complete within each. As you catch a first glimpse of the beginning map, it's empty colorless landscape is quite impactful, and it's up to you to help get this land back on the right track. You must connect various resources together in order to help transport the finished products to cities. You'll place stations at each location and then decide how to lay your track to connect them. The tracks and bridges do cost you money, so plan your route carefully. In the beginning, it's very simple but the difficulty increases throughout the levels as you'll have more and more entities to connect to your rail network. You also begin to see cards appear that can be used for things like saving money on tracks or bridges or increasing the freight your train can carry. For those who enjoy tricky logistical puzzles, you can steam things up a bit by completing the optional challenges within each level. And there's even a creative mode where you can play procedurally generated maps and control the biome, cliff height, type of freight, and difficulty. How does it run on Steam Deck? When I first booted up Station to Station on my deck, I immediately noticed that some of the images didn't load properly. And then when I selected a level to play, it just stalled on the loading screen. However, I went into the game settings, tapped properties, compatibility, and then selected the option to force the use of a compatibility tool. I chose the latest Proton release. This did the trick and then Station to Station played very nicely on the deck and utilized the thumbsticks and buttons without needing to use the touchpads, so it was pretty seamless. I will say that it took a bit to get used to the camera controls for panning and zooming, and I did find this a bit easier on keyboard and mouse, but for those hoping to buy Station to Station for relaxing gameplay on the couch, you'll be pleased to know that this is indeed possible. What do I like? Well, for starters, the graphics and aesthetics. The voxel style graphics remind me of Lego, and with the graphics cranked up, my 3080 was spitting out some pretty superb images, complete with wind and lighting effects and little puffs of steam from the engines. That wasn't planned, that was a tractor. <laughs> All of this contributes to the cozy, relaxing aesthetic and gameplay that Station to Station advertises. And then we have the music. The soundtrack is just beyond perfection for the aesthetic. As I mentioned earlier, you can truly hear the cinematic music painting a picture of a steam engine chugging along rhythmically, determined to bring staple goods and materials to the people and industries. I can't remember the last time I sat and listened to the music in the lobby before even playing the game. Its powerful grace washes over you like warm ocean waves, sparkling in the summer sunset. I know this sounds corny, but this game is like therapy and food for your soul. If you don't believe me, you're just going to have to play it. Finally, we have the gameplay. 
The game looks and sounds great, but what about the actual gameplay? I honestly have no complaints. Shocking, I know. The game's tutorial is decent and the difficulty provides appropriate scaffolding to beginners. I wasn't frustrated and I felt ready to tackle new challenges in the subsequent levels. I mostly play puzzle games like this with a very casual mindset, so I appreciate that a creative mode is offered if I ever feel that the main levels are becoming too difficult, though I do enjoy puzzles that wake me up and get my brain chugging. But if I want to create a simple, small desert landscape that I can beat in a quick play session, I can do that. You can make it whatever you want, but still immerse yourself in the gorgeous station-to-station -station worlds that shower you with a burst of serotonin. This is the obligatory section where I talk about what improvements I like to see in the game. If I'm being really picky, I'd like there to be options to customize the trains, maybe some cosmetics to unlock, just some interaction with the trains themselves other than merely watching them travel from station to station. Secondly, if you're aiming to complete the optional objectives, there seems to be a very limited scope of freedom in how you accomplish this, which could definitely frustrate those of you who want to find various solutions and not the solution. So is Station to Station worth buying? For those seeking a gorgeous, relaxing, cozy puzzle experience with freedom to manipulate the difficulty, yes. It's less than $20, runs on both PC and Steam Deck, and can be played in short sessions when you want a calm escape from your hectic day. In my opinion, the people who will have an affinity for Station to Station are those seeking an enrichment of the senses as they unwind from the day, not hardcore puzzle sleuths. This is a game that's more about the enjoyment of the ride and not the destination. So if your soul needs fueling and you're pondering buying Station to Station, I'd say you're on the right track. If you'd like to chug along with me on other cozy adventures, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.